The term onion skinning comes from the traditional animation technique of drawing individual pictures on thin sheets of paper. And when you hold those sheets of paper up to the light, you could see through them quite like you can see through an onion skin, a real onion skin. Now, you can do the same thing in Toon Boom Studio. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, if you're drawing traditional animation, frame by frame, for example, it's very helpful to be able to see the last drawing to base your new drawing on. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to grab my brush here, and it's going to swiggle real fast, make sure I have a good brush. All right, it's good. I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to create a very simple drawing. Let's say I'm going to draw a bird, and I'll just put his wing up like this. And he's going to be standing still. So I'll put his legs down here. And his other wing is folded like this. And he's going to be looking off to the side here. So this is our bird. And now let's make believe that we want to draw another frame and move his wing up. Now when I click on my exposure sheet on a new drawing, I can't see the last drawing. So I'm up in the air as to where that last position was. Well, if I go to the show previous button and the show next button these are my onion skin buttons so I'm going to go ahead to the show previous I'm going to click on this button and choose to show my previous two drawings of course I can choose to show the previous three or just one so I'm going to go ahead and choose previous two now when I go to the new drawing the last drawing is ghosted out somewhat so I can see what I'm drawing for my new one so I'm going to go to my brush once again and I'm going to draw the wing in a slightly different position based on the information from my onion skin and I'll just quickly draw the rest of the body of course I take my time in real life but I just want to show you this and I can move any other part of the body I can move the head I can move the eye so I'll move the eye a little bit and I'm going to go to another drawing by clicking here and I'm going to once again move the arm a little higher up this time And I'm pretty sure you can see right away the benefit to using this technique. It makes your drawing go by much more quickly and much more accurately. And I move the eye over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the return key on my keyboard to get a preview. And I'll go ahead and press play. As you see there, I get a very cool animation right away based on the onion skinning technique. Now this is very difficult to achieve, of course, if you don't use this technique. So once again, to turn onion skinning on, just go up to the show previous button and turn it on. Choose whatever amount of drawings you'd like to see. And if you don't want to see it anymore, just choose no previous drawings. You can also choose to show the next drawings if you want to in your onion skinning. So it's a, it's a great technique. I highly recommend it, especially if you want to create a hand-drawn artwork in Toon Boom Studio and have a reference point to create your new drawings from.